Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do top 50 important maths questions. These questions are very useful for your exams. So let's start. So there are 50 questions in this quiz and answer will be displayed 10 seconds after each question. If all your answers are correct, it means you are excellent. If you score from 49 to 45, it means you are very good. If your score is from 44 to 40, it means you are good. If you score less than 40, it means you need practice. Question 1 is, which sentence is incorrect? Out of these four options, you have to tell which one of them is incorrect. Answer is option D because it says 9 minus 4 equals to 13. This is wrong. 9 minus 4 equals to 5. Next question. Which of these two factors equal to product 54? Out of these four options, you have to tell which one of them equals to product 54. Answer is option B, 6 and 9. 6 into 9 equals to 54. Myra left from school at 1.30 p.m. The school bus took 45 minutes to reach her home. At what time she reached home? So calculate the time here. Answer is option D. 2.15 p.m. Myra left school at 1.30 p.m. And bus took 45 minutes. So 1.30 p.m. plus 45 minutes equals to 2.15 p.m. Next, which number comes after triple nine if we are skip counting by three? Answer is option B. 1002. Which one of these is smallest? Out of these four options, which one of them is the smallest number? Answer is option A, 909. This is the smallest number. Next, how many chocolates will I get if I can take one fourth of 36 chocolates. So you have to calculate one fourth of 36, which is equals to 9. So option D is correct. Next question 99 Ladoos are to be equally divided among 11 children. How many Ladoos will each child get? 99 Ladoos to be divided among 11 children. So each child will get 9 Ladoos. How? 99 divided by 11 equals to 9. 9 divided by 9 equals to 81. Is it true? False? Can't say or none of these. Answer is false. 9 divided by 9 equals to 1. Which fraction is not equivalent to 1 by 2? Out of these four options, see which one of them is not equal to 1 by 2. Look carefully. Yes, answer is option C, 
2 by 5. How come? Because if you look at the remaining options, you will see that all of them equals to 1 by 2 on simplification. Okay, so answer is 2 by 5. A TV program started at 7.20 p.m. and ended at 7.55 p.m. How long was the TV program? So, calculate the time from 7.20 p.m. to 7.55. You will get the answer as 35 minutes. Okay? If you still not have subscribed to my channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it. Which of these would be measured in kilograms? Length of pencil, packet of milk, weight of a board pen or weight of a bag of bananas. Which one of them would be measured in kilograms? Yes, answer is bag of bananas. Which of these is a multiple of 4 and 7? Answer is option B, 28. 4 into 7 equals to 28. Next question is, how many hours and minutes are there from quarter past 6 to quarter to 10? Here are the given options. So, calculate the time here. Quarter past 6 to quarter to 10. Yes. Answer is option A, 3 hours 30 minutes. Next, if 445 is added to me, I would become 800. Who am I? So, here we have to find this number. When 445 is added to that number, it becomes 800. So, answer is 355. 355 plus 445 equals to 800. Next question, which unit should be used to measure distance between two cities? Options, meter, centimeter, kilometer or none of these. Answer is kilometer. Kilometers should be used to measure distance between two cities. If one apple weighs 250 grams, what will be the weight of 7 apples? Calculate the weight of 7 apples if one of them weighs 250 grams. Answer is option B. 1 kilogram 750 grams. How did we solve it? We will multiply 250 grams by 7. What would be the next even number after 4598? Next even number. Answer is option A. 4600. Dash kilogram and dash gram equals to 23450 grams. Look at the options carefully. You have to convert these grams into kilograms and grams. Yes, answer is 23 kilograms, 450 grams. Next question. A rectangle has dash sides and dash corners. Here are the options. How many sides and corners does a rectangle has? Answer is 4 sides and 4 corners. A leap year is always divisible by 4. Is this statement false, true? 
और कांड से आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी ट्रू अलीपियर इज ऑलवेज डिविजिबल बाय फोर If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it. Next, if two even numbers are added, the sum is always a dash number. Options: even number, odd number, or can't say. Answer is even number. If you add any two even numbers. The sum will always be an even number. Which shape has three faces, two edges, and no vertex? Options: cube, cone, sphere, or cylinder. Answer is cylinder. Let's see the next question. Two pieces of ribbon are twelve centimeter long each. Three pieces of ribbon are seven centimeter long each. So, what is the total length of this ribbon? Answer is forty-five centimeter. How did we calculate this? We will do two into twelve, which is equals to twenty-four. And then three into seven, which is equals to twenty-one. And now we will add twenty-one and twenty-four, which is equals to forty-five. So total length of this ribbon is forty-five centimeter. Next question: Which number is the largest? So here four numbers are given. You have to tell which one of them is the largest. Look at the options carefully. Answer is eight hundred ninety-nine. This is the largest number among the given options. What is equivalent to fifty-two weeks? Options: year, century, decade, or ten months. Answer is a year. A year is equivalent to fifty-two weeks. What is the predecessor of three four six five zero? Answer is three four six four nine. This is the predecessor of three four six five zero. Write the smallest three-digit number using all the digits eight five seven only once. Answer is five hundred seventy-eight. This is the smallest three-digit number which can be formed using digits eight, five, seven only once. Find six five zero three plus dash equals to seven thousand. So what should be added to six five zero three so that sum is seven thousand? Answer is option B. Four hundred ninety-seven. Next, find one hundred forty-five plus dash plus six hundred fifty-seven equals to six hundred fifty-seven plus one hundred forty-five plus eighty-nine. So here you have to fill in the blank. Answer is eighty-nine. If we write eighty-nine on left hand side. Then it becomes equal to right hand side. Six nine zero zero one minus nine 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 has dash digit at hundred place. Answer is 
आंसर इज जीरो सो हेयर फर्स्ट यू हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट दीज टू नंबर यू विल गेट द डिफरेंस एज सिक्स एट जीरो जीरो टू एंड देयर यू विल सी दैट एट हंड्रेड प्लेस डिजिट इज जीरो Six six eight zero is less than six six nine five minus dash. Answer is ten. Six six eight zero is less than six six eight five. Six six nine five. Minus ten is six six eight five. Four fifty six into twenty three into dash equals to zero. Answer is zero. If we multiply any number by zero. We will get the blood up test zero only. Which number can be multiplied by nine hundred eighty-five to give the answer as nine hundred eighty-five? Answer is one. If we multiply any number by one. We will get the answer as number itself. So to get nine hundred eighty-five as the answer, we will multiply nine hundred eighty-five by one. Zero divided by thirty-five equals to dash. Answer is zero. Dash divided by eleven equals to twenty-two quotient and ten remainder. Answer is two hundred fifty-two. Next question. Find fraction of zero in this pattern. Options one by six, five by six, one or six by six. Answer is five by six. Twelve by thirteen equals to dash by fifty-two. Options forty-eight, fifty-eight. Forty-five or fifty-four. Answer is forty-eight. Because forty-eight by fifty-two on simplification gives us twelve by thirteen. So these are equivalent fractions. If today is Tuesday, what will be day after tomorrow? Options: Saturday, Friday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Answer is Thursday. If today is Tuesday, tomorrow will be Wednesday, and day after Wednesday will be Thursday. How many hours and minutes are there from quarter past four to half past six? Look at the options carefully, and then calculate the time. Answer is two hours fifteen minutes. Quarter past four means four fifteen, and half past six means six thirty. So there are two hours fifteen minutes between them. Which unit should be used to measure length of a pencil? Is it meter, centimeter, 
kilometer or none of these. Answer is centimeter. Length of a pencil should be measured in centimeters. If you still not have subscribed to my channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it. 461 meters and 39 centimeters equals to how many centimeters? Look at the options. You should know how to convert meters and centimeters into centimeters. Answer is option A. 46139 centimeters. Because we know 1 meter equals to 100 centimeters. So, 461 meters will be equal to 46100 centimeters. And then add 39 centimeters to it. And we will get our answer as 46139 centimeters. Let's see the next question. 20 kilograms, 20 grams equals to how many grams? Here you need to know 1 kilogram equals to how many grams? Answer is option C. Because we know 1 kilogram equals to 1000 grams. So 20 kilogram will be equal to 20,000 grams and then add 20 grams to it, we will get our answer as 20020 grams. That is 20,020 grams. All the faces of a dash are identical. Options, cone, cylinder, cuboid or cube. Answer is cube. All the faces of a cube are identical. Students, best example of cube is a dice. You must be using dice to play snakes and ladders, ludo at your home. So, remember that all the faces of a cube, that is dice, are identical. The place of 8 in 8, 3, 4, 5 and 5, 8, 1, 2 are dash and dash. So, you have to tell the place of 8 in both these numbers. Answer is 1000 and 100. Place of 8 in 8, 3, 4, 5 is 1000. And place of 8 in 5, 8, 1, 2 is 100. So, answer is option A. There are 45009 men, 42008 women and 35030 children in a town. What is the population of this town? So, here are the options given to us. Answer is option B. 122047. We will add all these three numbers to find the population of this town. Next, a bookstore has 36,000 books, 5,500 books were sold in first month and another 6,500 books were sold in second month. How many books are left in bookstore? Solve this. Answer is 24,000. How come? Total number of books, 36,000. Now, find the number of books sold in both the months. For that, we will add 5,500 and 6,500. We will get their sum as, tell me, how much? 12,000. Now, we will subtract 12,000 from total number of books. We will get the answer as 24,000. So, these many books were left in the bookstore. A bus can carry 52 passengers. How many passengers 50 such buses can carry? Find this. Answer is 2600. 
to calculate this we will simply multiply 52 by 50 and we will get our answer if in a school one classroom can have 45 students how many classes are required to accommodate 2700 students answer is option c 60 60 classrooms are required for 2700 students how did we calculate this we divided 2700 by 45 and we got our answer as 60 maida is 7 Rahul is four years older than Maira and five years younger than Anita. So, how old is Anita? Answer is sixteen. Let's see how to calculate this. Maira's age is given as seven years and Rahul is four years older than Maira. It means Rahul's age will be. Seven plus four, which is equals to eleven years. Now it is also given that Rahul is five years younger than Anita, so it means Anita's age will be eleven plus five, which is equals to sixteen. Neha bought ten toffees, each costing fifty paise. How much did she pay in rupees to buy these ten toffees? Answer is option C. Rupees five. Ten into fifty paise equals to five hundred paise. And five hundred paise equals to how many rupees? Yes, five rupees. So students these were the 50 questions for maths for class 3 I hope you solved all of them thanks for watching and for more such videos do subscribe to our channel learning notebook and share my channel and my videos with your friends and family bye bye see you in the next video